Hey guys, it's me, Joey. I'm Eric. And I'm Tony. And today we're going to be doing another episode of Childhood Chats. We're going to go over the different activities we did as kids compared to the activities kids do nowadays to have fun. Eric, what did you do as a kid? I remember playing kickball outside with my friends in the backyard and sometimes like wiffle ball and street hockey when it was warm out. Like even when the weather wasn't nice, we would still like look for something to do and we would always like fight over the rules of the things so because true. everyone had to be right and yeah. it was just really fun. Some of the greatest memories I've had. Definitely, definitely. What about you, uh, Tony? Well, when I was like younger, we used to always hang out with our family. Like we used to always be together every weekend okay. whenever we could. So we'd always play together. We'd play kickball, basketball, soccer, football, like whatever, whatever we felt like doing. And like we used to play like, a lot of knockout in oh, basketball. And we used to make our like own rules, like the winner would pick the order or Ooh. how many balls we would use or whatever. So like it was a good time, yeah. No, yeah, that's that's always the best. Like one of my favorite memories. Every day we, me and my friends would go outside. All my neighbors, we had about probably six of us in total. Mm-hmm. We'd play kickball, uh, wiffle ball, even even baseball sometimes, depending on the day. But my favorite memory is probably playing wiffle ball because we at one point we were so into it, we started throwing different pitches, crazy different like ways to get the outs, and we had a we I live on a cul-de-sac, so we actually used the cement as the base path, which was probably a terrible idea because yeah. if someone yeah. fell down, it could have been a real uh, disaster. Been but yeah. we just went with it, and. It, I couldn't give, tell you another thing I'd rather be doing when I was a kid than hanging out with some of my best friends that lived in my block and just playing games nonstop. I mean, mm-hmm, that, exactly. that was probably one of the best ways I could have lived my childhood, really. Yeah. But now, like, compared to today, like, these kids are all they are in the video games and rarely have, like, contact with anybody, like... Yeah, no, just, you go in public and you see kids, like, doing Fortnite dances and it's all yeah, they talk about and it's just, it's kind of... Hard to comprehend because all I remember is just, like, not being able to go inside when I was a kid. And now that's all these kids do. It's like they're just locked up in their rooms. No, yeah, it's crazy. No, but what bothers me the most is, like, you see, like, even, like, toddlers and they're walking around with iPads. Yeah, and, like, they're yeah. in their stroller. They can't even walk and, it. They're holding and, an iPad. And, like, you're at the restaurant and the whole family's sitting down. Every Everyone's single on person's their on their phone. No more, like, no more conversations. There's no more interaction yeah. anymore between people. I couldn't even tell you the last, like, my family, every night we sit down together, we eat dinner together. We never, we never go on our phones. We're not watching TV. We, we're real old school. Yeah, we're not allowed to use our yeah, phones no, at the table. That, that's house. just, it's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, but these kids, man, like, and especially like playing outside of developed people skills like you get to like yeah. see how people react to certain things you get yeah. you get to see how you, you yourself react yeah. to certain things but now they're just playing on the game Fortnite yeah. or whatever it is it doesn't mm-hmm. have to be Fortnite and they're sitting there and oh you get killed you just respawn you yeah. go back yeah, again exactly. and you, you fight over and over with the same kids and it's, it's like, just so addicting because of how repetitive it is it's yeah like, I remember like when I was a kid like me and my neighbors we would fight constantly every game we would have a fight someone would run in the house all mad but like yeah. not, I truly I believe that taught me ways to like cope with different things and like when someone was mad I would I, I would go back we would go up to their house we'd knock on their door have them call outside be like hey come on like, let's play right now cause like I mean Yes, it sounds so stupid. We were so young, but I really believe that that helped me create more people skills now than these kids will ever have. Yeah, yeah. and like when we were younger, we didn't have like an Xbox or Never. a PlayStation. Like if we had anything, we had a, a GameCube. Yeah, it was or like, like a Wii. Or a Wii. Or, yeah. and you play that with your friends though. You exactly. didn't play that alone in your house. Yeah, like sitting you in your room playing. with headphones on. Yeah, I remember like, I was in one memory was I was in third grade. And I, I never really played video games like PlayStation, Xbox. And some kid comes uh, up and he goes, you have a PlayStation? I thought he was speaking another language. I had no clue what he was talking about. I was like, I'm just so apt to go home, do my homework, have a snack, and go back outside and play. Because that that was just my life. Every day I would just go outside, play wiffle ball, basketball, all these different games. And that, it it just took over my life, really. And even now, like, when you look at, like, intramural sports and, like, like the Pat Med like league sports like yeah. you don't see a lot of kids playing anymore because no, they're yeah, sitting uh-huh. inside playing Xbox and when the kids do play then most of them don't even know what they're doing because they never looked at a sport in no, their life true, yeah. it's like, like people are too lazy to go outside because it's like of these video games they just like I said before they just take over the kids lives and it's just it's really disappointing because like I love playing sports as a kid yeah. and it's just like it's it's, yeah, it's sad to see now that yeah. like how something I used to love to do so much as a kid has like exactly. almost like, like I feel like I'm gonna be telling my kids when when I'm adult like oh when I was a kid I used to go outside and play every day like like yeah, exactly. my parents it's do kind of me. like what you make fun of with your yeah parents. but like yeah. it's so true like I couldn't imagine my kids coming home doing homework and then running upstairs and playing video games all day I, I mean uh-huh. I that's just that's just not a way to live I feel like it's just it's terrible and like I feel like at least for like our community Pat Med like it's like really brought down like how good each sport is like yeah. you, you, look, you look at our teams now in high school 
no team is really that good. No. Like, basketball's not doing too well. Soccer and football didn't do well at all. Nope. Baseball's not doing the best. We don't even have a hockey team. We don't have a swimming team. It's because kids, all they do is sit in their room and play now. They don't They don't go yeah. outside. They don't experience these other, like, different activities they could do. Yeah, I'll never forget my, my baseball coach was just telling us how, like, back in the day when he used to coach, he you had 100 kids come out for the team, and 80 of them were potential players that could play on that team. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to cut them. Yeah. Now, we're, we're lucky if we get, like, 19 kids One to come player out. Yeah, that's actually like, good. Yeah, like, out of the. That's including the kids that are coming back that were either on JV or varsity already. We don't have. Yeah. It, it's crazy to see, but these kids are just. Kids are lazy now. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. And you look at the other districts, like, now, like, money really has anything to do with it, but the richer districts, the kids, every team they have. Yeah. Like, someone like Ward Melville, you, you just think of every team and you're scared to play them. Comac, because, too. Yeah, yeah they're low. Especially. Yeah. And I, I mean. I don't want to blame it all on the parents, but it definitely has something to do with that. Because mm-hmm. if my kid ever came home and said, I want to go upstairs and play Xbox all night long, I'd say so no. You're crazy. Yeah, yeah. You, you, gotta, you have to learn how to cope with people. You have to learn how to play games. I mean, the, playing, playing video games all day long will just worsen your life. It, it will never get you anywhere. It, it will never, like, you'll never learn how to just, I don't know, be a kid, be a I real guess. Person. Yeah. Exactly. It's just, it's terrible. If you're I living mean, in a virtual reality, you're gonna, that's what you're going to yeah, think that's what you're gonna life get. is like. And- and that's it's not going to work out well for you. Yeah, kids are kids are living in a video game. This is real life. It's it's different out here, man. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And issue to have like a gaming system. No, it's uh, definitely something to have. Like, it takes stress off if you're dealing yeah. with something with school, or if you just want to have a little fun with your friends and play online. It's fine. But yeah. when it just controls the people and takes over their lives, that's what it's really. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I could probably say all of us have what an Xbox or PlayStation yeah. or something. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and. I play it a decent amount, but I wouldn't say my life revolves around it. I don't have to go home, and I can't. I wouldn't be itching like if I didn't play it down, be like crying like, oh, I have to play, I have to play. Yeah. I'm not if like I play, I, if I'm bored, I'll play. If I if I don't play, I don't play. I need to get around it. Even when I am playing, I'm playing sport games. I'm yeah, playing, exactly. Like, like 2K, 2K something like that, or Challenge, Madden, and, yeah. or UFC. Yeah. Like I'm keeping up with like the sports yeah, that I true. actually am yeah. interested in. I'm not yeah. going home and playing Fortnite and. These these dumb like battle royale games that yeah, everyone's like yeah. obsessed with now, like. and like they're fun or whatever, but not every second of the day. No, yeah, like, like I playing it. after a while, my eyes even start to hurt. I uh-huh. can't even I can't even stay yeah. on that long. My like, eyes. The best part of these hurting. games are like you get to be the GM and you just control yeah. the team of the sport you love, and exactly. it's just building up the team is. I don't know. It's just there's something fun about it that I've never found in one of the games like Fortnite or Call of Duty. No, yeah, yeah, those yeah. are like that's like what I'm interested in. I too. feel a personal connection to the team that I'm building up. Yeah. So. Yeah. Bottom line is, these kids need to learn how to play outside. That's what it is, man. Yep. These kids are just so true. If they change this generation, it's it's crazy. It's crazy to say, but it's it's sad. I mean, it it hurts me to see no like, I have a lot of younger kids on my block now. Like I said, I used to play with the kids that were on my block all the time. Ever since I've stopped playing a few years, uh, like five years back, probably I haven't seen one kid go out there and play. Yeah, and it's exactly. it's crazy to see, but like I you know I had I started going to co- uh, high school and a lot of mm-hmm. a lot of stuff to do now. But these younger kids, they they they're in elementary school. How much homework are they really getting? Yeah. They have yeah. plenty of time to go outside and play, and, and like, it, it hurts me not to see anyone out there. But and like when I was younger, like because I used to play soccer at the Sip Fields, like literally right down the road from yeah. over here. And when we were younger, it was packed every yep. day because there was three fields. Every field had players on it you, you yeah. like you couldn't find an open spot yeah now you go there and it's empty, empty. Like, no completely empty mm-hmm. kids don't play anymore you like never see anyone at parks anymore or playgrounds and it would always used to be like competitive just to find a spot there yeah like tony was saying so yeah well guys thanks for tuning into our childhood chat we hope you enjoyed and hope you guys learned something from this thank you yep. thanks thank you <laughs>